And we turn the microphone on, and there we go. It is indeed Monday. It's about the time when we do some art-like activities. You should about this time. And just happy Canada Day to our Canadian friends. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, I had a pretty good one. I actually went to the zoo yesterday. It was a damn fine day outside. So, hello, Will. Hello, Will. But yeah, it was a great day outside. So I was like, you know what? Let's go to the zoo. So I went to the zoo yesterday, and that was fun. Well, with a couple of friends of mine and their youngest daughter. We saw plenty of ammon in the moles, the moles, the moles, the moles, the moles, the moles. We are nearing the end of this particular image, which is pretty cool. Pretty fun. Uh, let's see. We are still in the live section, I think, here. Yes, we are. There are a few things we do need to do real quick. Actually, I just noticed while stream was starting up that is we're gonna get rid of a little bit of this hair here this is gonna be back behind all that I think that's is that an arm layer no Look forward what is that it's on the body we don't need that Give it a couple of these overlaps here. There should be most of these smaller details, I think. Okay. Okay. Let's just go ahead and jump into the colors here. Don't have any layers set up here. Yeah, that's fine. What? Where the hell are you at? Okay. Okay, that's in the sketch. I mean, you know what? That's fine. That that's in the sketch layer. That's fine, actually. That that's fine. We can just drag those here into the color layers now. They could have also stayed in the sketch layer, too. They were just basically there to see how they were. Hey, look at that. There's Ether with uh, 69 bits. That's very nice of him. Very nice. But uh, since Will is here, uh, I will say bit this. And you know what that means. Let's see here. Let's set up our layers now. Picture so we got the basic skin layer. We will do for Sarah skin, hair, boots, shirts, pants, I do this one at a time right now. So we try to think of shirt, pants, and boots. Exactly, this way it had eggplant. Details. What we'll do details and cosplay details? Go. Got that. Got that up there, right there. Just rearranging because yes, actually skin should be the bottommost layer. Nope. Hair can also be second from the bottom actually, because that's pretty much all behind there.
try to move the layers around as we need. We can also make more, again, as we need them. We're using the mill pen marker. We're at eight. Let's bump that up to 20. Yeah, 20 should be a good size there. Just start coloring in every uh, you know we'll also do well we'll do that later we'll get the shade layers in the lighter and darker sh layers in, in a little bit let's get our flats done at least although we are going to do a little sneaky cheat with uh some of these things here as I said, happy Canada Day to our Canadian friends, and good day to everyone else. Hope you guys had a good weekend, and for those of you that get them, I hope you have a nice short week, be it either having today off or having the end of the week off for the national holidays. If I turn the back color off, yes, that helps the gaps stand out a little bit more, so we can do that. Hello, Ramshackle. Oh, that's the zoom in. I didn't want that necessarily. Yeah, I don't have any of that to aside from her tail. I guess since we're down here, we might as well. Ah, I'm glad you quoted that, Night Owl. I do have a question about the quotes. Is there, there like a catalog you could look at to find out which quotes are which numbers? Or do you just have these all pressed to memory in your crazy insane mind? It hasn't been a tattoo. Okay, you know, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. I am still upset that no one really picked up on my joke saying that there would be no... Was it 69th quote or 420th quote? And having that be the that number's quote. But oh well. Oh well. I mean, yeah, you have to update that thing daily because... Stuff's quoted daily. Because you people are nuts, and we appreciate that about you. Because we are just equally as insane.
Oh, I don't think I throw that. Wow, I really need to. Hey, let me get my get microfiber here. Just kind of wipe this touch screen off a little bit. It's got some stuff on it. Some schwutz. Wipe off the schwutz. It'd be all good. That's all. Oh, good. All right, there we go. Well, 2009 being a two, 9002 or, well, I mean, even 9001 could be a D Dragon Ball Z reference. But then again, we are what, like 4,000 away from there or something like that? So we got a ways to go to get before we get over 9,000. Maybe I'll start uh, streaming Dragon Ball Xenoverse again around that time. See if we can't get uh, see if we can't get a Dragon Ball Z quote there. Again, I still want an orange Piccolo. Just transformation, orange to make a transformation for that game. Just give it to us already! Damn it! Come on. Oh, we're in the mid six thousand. Okay, but still, we're still like three thousand away then at that point. Got this up here real quick. So I thought I did. Okay. Uh, that was okay. Uh... I'm a little concerned as to why I'm on that. Is everything in here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's that's all on there. That's that's fantastic. Okay. That's fantastic. It is true, only living people do worry if they're dead. You see, I'm not worried about dying because so far I'm I'm immortal. I have yet to die, so you know, I have that going for me. This immortality thing. It's not all it's cracked up to be though, I'll be honest. At least as far as I'm aware, I haven't died. So, you know. So it could be like a Marvel comic where you've died and come back. And just, you know, no one's really noticed or cared that you died you say, or, or that you're back. Like, oh, okay, that's neat. I did. Let me, let me grab open. I really gotta categorize her colors a little bit better. It's because, like, the tattoo, the scar colors, and the hair color are all very similar. I know. Those two, that's the skin, that's her hair. It might be light, lighter hair? Right now, I don't know. Okay, so how about this? 
I hit that save button, that's a good idea. There's our eye drop, okay. Seven two seventy five one oh six. Okay. Da -da. Okay. Yep. That's her hair color right there. Yep, that's her eyes right there. I think that is the scar color there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Maybe I took it from this one here. Hang on a second here, get that eyedropper, grab that, there we go. 127, 123, 153. That's close. So is that one too. Again, I think that's probably it though. So I think we're all right. I'll see. Let me grab just that one right there. 189, 190, 200. Two fourteen. That's all those aren't that far. Neither is that one. Okay. You know what? I bet you I know what I probably did. Skin, scar, skin, tattoo, scar might have been also how I did it too. I wish I could label the colors too. That would be a that would be pretty helpful too. But oh well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the line segment here. Double check something here. Yep. Go into the details. Lock that transparent layer. And then I'm just gonna use these straight up. Get them to fall in line now and play nice. This way. Up oh, almost. Hang on. And yeah, get up here. That's so why we don't lose some of that detail, some of the so smaller, finer details in those tattoos, just lost to the black lines. But did notice some missing. There we go, right there in the face, in the shoulder here, a little bit back there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Details. Grab that one. Yeah, bump this size down a little bit. those in. Hey Bard, how you doing? Oh, 
Welcome to the old Friday art stream. We've moved it to Monday now. Because it went under uh, the same management as before. Also, uh, Saturday, I'm going to be honest with you, it's probably still up in the air. I'll be going out of town uh, Thursday and Friday, so I don't know if I'll be back Saturday in time for the stream. And Saturday, for the time being, we'll be back to Tears of the Kingdom until I can get someone to help me out with the Ecto-1. Because... I need another set of hands just to hold that thing up in the air while I get the uh, uh, the wires re repurposed and figured back out. Because, again, oh boy. Oh boy, was that a lot of work. For those of you that were there, you you saw me lose my goddamn mind that that, that day on Saturday. Oh, someone wants a service dog. How cute. Is it a new service dog and they're currently training it? Because I, when I was a security guard, there was someone there that used to train service dogs and She'd bring them into work just to get them used to people and not being a dog and being a helper. All right. So some more lines I had to take care of. Uh, I probably actually start on the start the boots. Well, that's fair. I mean, is it like like dog sized dog or is it still puppy sized dog? That's your that, that's your you know I'll answer your question right there. If it's still kind of puppy sized, well, it's most likely just learning to be the guide dog. And it's current training phases, this is, this is. All right. We gotta, we gotta bring up some monster pictures again. Maybe somewhere between so so teach. Okay, so there's a chance the dog is, could still be training. Whoa, there we go. That, that was weird. All right, I still have some. I still have some author pictures left. I think right. References. Where are you at? There you are. M. Oh yes, author. Here we go. There we go. There's the Queen of Monsters. All right, what we're going to do is let's open up. I see it. Other one's just a toy of Mothra, right? Yeah, well, it was just a toy. Uh, I really probably can't find some high def images of Mothra. I mean, yeah, there's new Godzilla. There's, there's Mothra from the most recent Godzilla film, but I mean, that was all so dark. And she did. Spoilers, I guess. But Mothra does tend to do that. She does kind of tend to just stop being alive. 
Let me reverse back to our larval state. Reincarnated. And the pictures you see online. Oh, well, that's a pretty decent one, I guess. Sorry you guys can't see, but I'm trying to look for a decently high-def picture of Mothra. Just directly pull the colors off there, but I'm really not seeing any. So... We might just go off this little picture we already have up. And that's okay, too. So I think what I'll do is grab that color here. And we'll, yeah, we're on the boot layer, so we'll make this boot color here. You might even play with this to try and lighten it up too on our uh, slides. You know, let's do quick contrast actually. Let's bring this up. Bring that up to full. That kind of stands out. We can always change the color later on too. When we, uh, so we can always lock the alpha layer and just again alter and just swing over it. So it's not like we're trapped with this color. It's not like we're going to lose a lot of work by not doing it now. But realistically, though, they would be white boots. Actually, they would most likely be white boots because you just buy the go go boots and call it good if you're doing a cosplay. So we should try and keep that in mind as well. Because, like, this beige color probably is difficult to find in a prefabricated shoe color. Especially one you'd want for cheap and not have to play Bugatti prices or whatever. High fashion prices. I don't like that. Let's get rid of that. Oh, so hello, TK. Welcome. You know what? We're going to change these boots to white. So let's just finish coloring this in. And then we'll change it to white because, like I said, we got to think of cosplay. Again, am I doubting you could find this color boot somewhere? No. Can you find it somewhere quickly? And for a nice affordable price that you'll probably only wear maybe a handful of times? No. No, not really. Monofill. Boop. There we go. All right, uh, her pants, so we will make, we will use this brown color here. Or one of them anyway. Uh, let's try and grab, let's grab that one right there. Actually, you know, boots should be above the pants. And then I should go back onto the correct layer. And we 
we could be a little sloppy because... Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, might even make let's make the skirt its own layer here. At least a base color for the skirt. Even though that will be part of the wings. Look okay, at a couple other pictures here off to the side. some of these pictures I'm looking at looks like she's got like yellow feet I mean it's not unheard of to, uh, to paint clothing and things like that but I think we'll just leave those white for now but that could Could change how we do work on the belts, maybe. Uh, I, I could see that. I could see that because of the uh, guard flap in the front. I could see that and the sides. But no, I just want a little something. I just want a little something in the front there. And you know, now I'll we'll kind of grab this cream color off of uh, off our little fuzzy up top. We'll use that first off. We'll put this in the details. Oop, go back. Shrink that down to a ten. Eh, maybe eight. Put this in here. But yeah, I under I completely understand the whole Frieza Force vibes this uh this piece gives off. Was it intentional? Eh, not really. It's just a simple design to do, that's all. Did notice a little bit of. Go. I think we will grab a darker brown for the centerpiece here, and that's what we use for her legs. Let's grab, let's grab this one right here. It's like a nice medium brown. I'll put that in the skirt layer here. Bumped up to twelve. Let's see how. Oh yeah, these three, these three colors are pretty well, are complementing each other pretty well at the moment. And we can actually go a little sloppy there. You know what, I'll just do this because I do plan on making the belt its own layer, and even then these little things are going to be the detail layer anyway, so... You did just get a little sloppy there. If we use the fill tool, to make it that much faster. I didn't really forget to use the fill tool, mostly because I'm really not at the keyboard. The keyboard's off here, off to my right, not... Uh, not in front of me like it used to be. I 
And back to the skirt layer. Because on the bottom of half of the skirt, basically grab the and or you know, let's just again we're just lifting just lifting right off this picture here. I would like to use that orange, please. Let's move that over there. I'm playing with the music now. All right, so how we're gonna do this, yeah. What we'll do is we'll fill in with the mill pen. Make this a darker orange inside. Well, we can, because this is gonna be on detail layer, the cosplay detail layer. So we just fill this whole thing in with the orange. Clean up those colors real quick. The colors don't run, but they bleed through. We don't want that. You found something funny. Well, what'd you found? Gonna keep it to yourself or share with the class? It's Comic of Vegeta walking to. Oh, I did see that Pride Parade one a little bit earlier. He's talking about his Saiyan Pride! All right, let's see. There's the color wheel. Here's the color sliders. Let's make this a little darker. Let's... Put some green into it. And a little bit of red. Try and keep it from looking too brown. There we go. I think it's a good contrast to it. Uh, I'll actually put this on the... Put on the hair layer. This is hiding behind the pants, but... You know what? We could put it on the skin layer, but no. Let's put it on the hair layer. Because it's behind the boots. And I don't want it to bleed in with the skin. And then zoop. There we go. Oh, he's just running, he's just doing, getting groceries for Bulma, it's a comic show, clearly. And besides, would Vegeta miss a chance to run his mouth off? No. Alright. Let's jump back up here. Grab the yellow. And then back down here. Uh... Get our airbrush. So it does kind of bleed because you know it does bleed in. But not a whole lot. So we'll kind of go like this, I think. Focus on the cosplay detail layer. that there we go and I just get rid of all this extra now that's outside so we got that nice yellow 
fade. Let's actually go ahead and bring not that. I know that does help a couple bit, but now let's bring this up. Get rid of the rest of this yellow. We have just sprayed out there. Is there anything else? No, I think we're pretty good on that. Okay. And then we'll make this black here since we're in this layer anyway. Uh, yeah, it's just black. We'll go to black, but let's go into our red orange area. We'll just drag a little bit of color in it, make it pop a little bit, I think. See if that'll help it. Just stand out a little bit from the lines, which it does. Annoyingly so, we don't know yet. But we'll find out. I do need to be careful because it is on the same layer as that yellow is. So if I want to change it, can lock the alpha layer, but I also risk going over the yellow and changing that color and that might not look right. So let's go ahead and hit that save button actually while we're at it. Oh yeah, the Vegeta Dad comics, those are amazing too. Yeah, no, fandoms can really breathe life into just these old franchises. Yeah, you know, I think it looks pretty good. Um, what we're gonna do is... We are going to put a nice monofill block right there in case we need it for the, the other part of the wing there. All right, shirt. Well, you know, no, we make that belt, belt like I said. And that belt. Uh, we'll just okay yeah that belt will make a dark brown off of here so let's grab that one i think no so no that one yeah there we go i think that's a good one that's right i was gonna put the arms in the cosplay detail layer so just color this in. Mm -hmm. This one. I think I want to make these like a little bit of a golden color, so let's grab that yellow there, and we'll we'll start with that. Start with that color and maybe change it. Oh wow, I left a complete blob of uncolored portion there. I'll come back for that soon. I don't want. There's a little one. Zip. No, wrong layer technically, so let's. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's see how well that pops against it. 
Oh yeah, that's standing right out. That's standing right out already. Look at that. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, well, I've, I've heard mixed things about Amazon Fallout. But then again, I'm also hearing mixed things about just how Bethesda has handled Fallout. So, you know, it's, that's just going to be on a very person-by-person -person basis. Just remember that everyone's entitled to their opinion, even though it's a wrong sometimes. Let's see here. Let's grab. Let's grab that brown right there. So I think I want to make that this main body here. Bump that up to twenty. This is all going to be white right here. I've already decided that. Or, or maybe this light brown, whatever I've got around the eyes. All right, you know, we're going to try a few different browns here, so... Let's grab. That one. See if it's any different. Is it? Ever so slightly, yes it is. It's a little darker. Gonna do. Do this. That way I know that's a solid of that color. It's a solid of that color. Let's get like a third one in here, I think. Let's get maybe a little bit of a darker brown here. See how these all look kind of side by side. That's monofill there. Hmm. I already don't like that dark one. We're gonna automatically nix that one. But do I like the one on the left or the right side? I think I'm leaning towards the one on the right. I think I do like that a little bit better. Hey there, pistol. Now we're gonna go with the one here on the right. But, <laughs> but, I want to save that color. I do want to save this other brown for the shading. Because I like how it's just a faint difference, but it's there. So, and who knows, I might even end up swapping them too. In the end. But for now, let's just finish up with this. Make 
Make sure I got everything on that layer. There we go. And then cosplay details, like I said, that's just gonna be like white fluff. Or this tan little fluff. Let's grab that right there. It's just so off-white, it's barely noticeable. Well, it sounds like you came in at a good time then, huh? We gotta get rid of some lines there real quick. Uh probably in this one. Yep, there we go. And back to coloring. Now what I could do if I really wanted to is I could put these colors on the sketch layer and turn it on. That way they'll hide Boop. when I turn that back off. I'm coloring outside of some lines, yes. But I'm coloring inside other lines, so. Hmm. I kind of like that color here, actually. Is that on the cosplay details? Yes, that is. Let's see how that looks. Whoop. There. I think I do like that, yes. Do that, because I also want to... Oh, no, there. Because I also do want to make this that same color. Let's go ahead and do that. And also over here. Uh, it, it was an old role play I was in, yes. Is what I'm doing. I'm just taking some older characters and tossing them in here. Yeah, I played this big uh, dope over here on the left, and this was one of the NPCs that he was interested in, Sarah over here on the right. And speaking of, though, let's go ahead and jump back into our color palette here for her. We're diving in. Now 
That's probably her. Okay, so what do I have here? I have 200, 205, and 228. Twenty-four, twenty-five, forty-three. Okay, that's probably close to what I had her. Wait, grab for the mouth. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That might be the same color I use for uh Eyes, you know, I think it will be. I do need to change that detail real quick, though. So we'll be jumping back in there in a hot second. <clears throat> back to our lines, details. Oh, where are you hiding? Oh, you are on the face layer. That's a dangerous layer to be on. There we go. That's a little too much right there. There we are. Grab that. And where's the hair? There's the hair. It's right here. Because eyebrows are hair. I don't know how many of you people know that, but it's true. Eyebrows are hair. And I am opening her gills a little bit now, so... Can I gotta check something here? Alright, pinkish color. Salmon almost. Um All right. I need to swap uh I need to cut to commercial for a quick second to pull something up. Just some file digging I don't want, I uh, shouldn't put on stream here, so just give me a couple minutes. Hey now kids, it's a brand new beat. A brand new toy you can wear on your feet. Skip it, skip it, do a new jump, do hop hop. Skip it, skip it, a skipping and a jumping and a bop de bop. But the very best thing of all, there's a counter on this ball. Maybe you can beat your very best score. Maybe you can jump a whole lot more. Skip it, skip it. Bet you're gonna love it. Skip it from Tiger Toys. You're watching KBVO Fox 42. Ah, the first signs of spring. The kingdom's now open weekends with all your favorite thrills, chills, flights, and frights. And here's a royal treat. Get your free preview weekend discount coupon at Burger King or bring in a wrapper or proof of purchase from any Burger King product. You'll save four bucks off the general admission of Kentucky Kingdom. Uh oh, and save your ticket stub. It's good for a free cheeseburger when you return. Come on, make it a weekend at the Kingdom. Now open weekend. All right, there we go. Got what I needed. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put that there.
There you go, not looking bad, not looking half bad. All right, now back to the cosplay details because we are gonna, goggles are basically gonna be the same color as that. So let's go ahead and color in the goggles. bit of hair we missed we can just drop in there in a second here and you know that's her hair can stay there it's just give me stray hairs now and again anyway so there we are a oh, little bit of skin there. We use actually use the detail later, but first there's a little something in your right. Thank you, little thinky. Is that on this layer? Yes. Do want to kind of. Okay, I think it looks a little better. We're going to grab, I think, that blue for the base color of the eyes. The goggles, they do not sink. It all depends on what you're using the goggles for. All right. I'm not a huge fan of this blue, but maybe when we add some lighter blue or some white to it, it'll make it pop a little better. So I'm gonna try and keep that in mind for now. Actually, I think I'll make the antennae on the goggles. It's the same color. Well, funny, funny thing is, I actually watched an episode of The Simpsons uh, over the weekend, slowly making my way through uh, at least up to season 10, maybe 12. I'm currently on, I think, season 6 of The Simpsons on, on Disney. So, you know, never really watched The Simpsons as a kid. We weren't allowed to really watch The Simpsons as kids, so... Uh... I never knew much about them, but the few episodes I did see, you know, were right in that whole quote unquote classic Simpsons era. Or all my friends talked about all those jokes and things like that. And you know, a town with money is kind of like a mule with a spinning wheel. No one knows how to got it, and dang if he knows how to use it. All right. Uh, let's grab that color here, and we're going to make a cape layer. And that will be behind the, you know, we're going to try this all the way down here, below the legs. Aha! We're in a lot. Uh-oh. Did I color something in? I did not. Okay, that's fine.
put you there for now. Just making sure I'm not losing any colors. That's okay. Anyway, the cape layer. Uh, go above the pants, but below the skirt. Yeah, and I grabbed that color already. But even then, when I did get older, I did watch some Simpsons reruns, you know, so I did see, again, did watch those older, quote-unquote, classic Simpsons era episodes. There's another blotch of skin missing. Zoop! Grab that. Yes! Sarah is cosplaying as Mothra. I'll show the background again a second here. Whoa, what the heck happened there? There's like a whole color difference right there. Is that showing up on screen? Stream or am I just going crazy? Let me look. No, that's there. Oh, that's some of the yellow we haven't taken care of from this spray. Okay, that's what that is. I thought I was losing my, I thought I was seeing things for a second there. There we go. Oh yeah, they are in front of one of the Godzilla displays, or some kind of vacation display that they had over there at ASEN. Godzilla meets Ikebana. I, I really didn't look into it much, but you know, Japan, Japanese anime festival, you know, uh, convention. I mean, heck, they were even advertising a, uh, there was a, dis there was a distillery there from Japan that were selling certain bottles of, uh, sake and Japanese bourbon, and they're doing, uh, tastings of that. Well, granted, I didn't get into either one of those. But, uh, you know, something like that, you know, sold out pretty quick because they only had, like, limited glasses. But, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different interesting things. Like, was Air Korea there? I don't think so, but it wouldn't surprise me. But, you know, just different places in the industry, in the industry section. Let's bump this up to 20. Bump 
bump that back down to 10. for just her alone. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, it's all the way over there, huh? Alright. That's all the flat color. Just gonna toss all the flats in one layer here. And just the two shades, the lighter and the dark. I guess one thing we do need to do is look at this and see how the shadows are working in the actual picture. Even though our shadows will mostly just be kind of under and around like that because, you know, it's all coming straight down. Cause yeah, like see back here, pretty much in a building you'd cast like pretty much two or two to four shadows, because if the light lights are coming straight down on you in all these directions. So it's kind of figuring out how shadowing would work I mean hell shit we got a light right here again so all lighting is all very going to be very top heavy then it's all going to be very top heavy so this is just going to be an experimentation once again in coloring what i you know i should probably do uh, we got about 10 minutes left. Yeah, let's just start a little bit of experimenting, I guess. Hit that save button real quick. So, turn this back off. Let's grab you. Brown. Drop you to 10. Okay, that is barely enough to notice even zoomed in at this, so... So that color actually will not be worth it. I believe that's the shirt layer. A skirt. Her, her shirt, yes, that is on the shirt layer, so we just get rid of this. together. So then what we'll do is on the light layer we'll just whoop, grab that. We go to our sliders here. And we'll prepare for today's lesson class.
Oh, okay. Just bumped it up to 80 right there. Go ahead and get rid of these couple of pictures up here now. Yeah, thanks there, Mayhem. What'd you miss? Eh, not a whole lot of nothing, I think. Just trying to figure out uh, lighting. Lighting's basically just gonna be coming straight down, just trying to figure out how that will fall on everything and how that's gonna work with the shadows, but you can mostly mess with that next week too because we are coming up on time yeah we got like five minutes or so left so let's go ahead and just call it here hit that save button and uh so we got quish coming up a little bit later with the uh, rim world like i said as for myself uh saturday is still kind of up in the air oh well thanks there mayhem like i said saturday's kind of still up in the air don't know if I'll be home or not. If I am, uh, we'll be going back to Tears of the Kingdom. Because uh, I just need another pair of hands for the Ecto-1 before I dive back into that. Uh, I mean, assembly is wrapped for now. Um, when I went to go test the lights, some lights didn't work. Some of the sounds didn't work. So I got to take the bottom chassis back off, check the wiring. So yeah, I just need I just need more hands. And then hopefully by next time she'll be on her wheels. Hopefully for the final time. And I won't need to turn it over anymore after that. But hey, knock on wood. But anyway, you guys have a good rest of your day. Once again, happy Canada, Canada da, da, Day to all our Canadian friends, and happy 4th of July for the American friends uh, when it comes up at the end of the week. And I'll catch you guys later. There's my buttons. There are my buttons. Whoosh.